Join the CIA. That's how you win. Consistent, imperfect action. Don't let perfection hold you back. So just jump in. Whatever it is you want to do, go after it. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Calvin Weeman. Previously, episode 770 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just two years, 11 months, and 16 days since we had this last recorded conversation. Don't worry about being perfect. Just take the next step. Done is better than perfect. So just take the next step. That was then. This is a no. Calvin, how are you doing today? Doing super well, my friend. So good to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you. Uh, Given the calculation of those days, it means that you actually spoke with me like this exact time when you last booked. And that speaks to consistency, I believe. That is super interesting. Yeah, Yeah, that's weird and cool. Yeah, it's super cool. So what's happening? I mean, like when we spoke, you were stepping out on the entrepreneurial journey, right? It was just almost three years ago. The book was out, Fish Out of Water. Mm -hmm. You were getting into social media. The social media management side of what you'll be offering was getting out there as well. So what's evolved? What's going on? Since then, man, so many things, a lot of personal stuff, a lot of roller coasters with the ups and the downs of the entrepreneurial life. Since then, I started speaking more. I actually got accepted to give a TEDx talk. So that happened. And just some really cool stuff. Like right now, I don't know if you know Tony Robbins or Dean Graziosi, but I'm actually sitting in Dean Graziosi's office because I'm helping uh, build a sales floor for a program that he has. So yeah, just getting to rub shoulders with some cool people that are up to cool things. And I'd say that's probably the biggest thing, just getting to connect with some really amazing people. That's what the last three years has been. Wow. When you believe you can, I mean, you stepped out. Those were your words, you know, when you believe you can. It felt as though you really believe that you could be where you are today. Yeah. When you look back in reflection. And sometimes you don't know how it's going to happen. When I was declaring things like, I want to be rubbing shoulders and working next to people that are making big impact on the world. I didn't know exactly how it was going to happen. You know, one of my favorite things that happened a year ago is I was already speaking publicly when you and I connected, just not as much. I don't think I had done the 2000 person keynote yet. Do you remember if I did anything? I don't think so, no. So that was cool. So I wanted to speak on some big stages. So right after you and I connected, I got to speak in front of 2200 people as the main keynote for the event. That was unbelievable. But one of my favorite things was last year, I wanted to speak on stage with some of my mentors, like people that I used to follow online. And the universe just dropped something right in my lap. And yeah, I got to share the stage with people like Mel Robbins, Jay Shetty, Lewis Howes, Brendan Burchard. And that was cool. Just to your point, because I believe there's a way, but sometimes you don't know how it's going to happen. But if you keep focused on it and take little steps, then you just start to be surprised with what can happen. No, I'm sure there's like a few other aspects aspects to that that you put in there one thing being consistency i'm sure that you've been consistently showing up is that accurate yes and not all the time just to be real like i've had low moments as well throughout this past three years where i've had periods of procrastination but the thing that has always helped me get back on track is finding some way even ever so small to find a way to be consistent and just for practical things for anybody here like one of the people that have helped me so much with building consistency the past even this year in 2019 is a guy named Andy Frisella because he has something called 75 hard and it's a free program that's all about mental health and mental toughness And doing something like that where you're challenging yourself mentally starts to develop the confidence that you need to build trust with yourself, but also build consistency. So yeah, I'm very grateful for the consistency that has been in my life, but it's been something that I've had to work toward. And 75 Hard with Andy Frisella has helped with that consistency. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Now, the physical side to support everything that's going on as well. Like I saw you on video just before we switched off the video and you look like you're a bit fit, right? So is there a physical side that holds up with everything that's going on on the entrepreneurial side? That's where it begins. Like actually one of the challenges with 75 hard is to work out twice a day, 45 minutes each. And one of those exercises must be outside. 
And it feels like it's just physical, but when you can do put yourself in physical strains like that, it just pushes you even more mentally. And I can't remember if I had done this challenge yet, but we were, I was about to. Three years ago, I did a 50-mile ultra marathon, and I had never even done a regular marathon before. And that was when I first started to get into like pushing myself physically for the mental aspect. And that was something cool. That was a huge thing, too. Because my whole thing and what I'm continuing to push is I believe that every single one of us are more capable than we give ourselves credit for or than we realize. And so I try to do things that I didn't know if I could do, but just to see if I can. And doing that 50 miler was one of those things. An important part to note as well, for those who haven't heard the first episode, you were an introvert. And of course, that lives within you still, right? And you took steps that created the development of you sounding what seems to be like 100% all on extrovert because of the importance that went with getting your story out there. Now, that has evolved and now you're helping others. You're hitting stages. The transformation is fabulous. Do you have a TV? Like, did you get a TV somewhere in between there? I didn't. Not yet. I'm actually thinking of getting one just this year for Christmas just because my wife and a couple of kids have been asking about it. So I might put one in the living room, but I haven't had one yet. So how has what you've been doing affected them both? Let's start with the children and then get up to your wife. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. So my son's six now. And when we talked, I haven't had my baby girl yet, but I have a two-year-old baby girl now. And I think they've probably changed me more than I've changed them because it's been very impactful having a baby girl. Like there's the whole cliche thing that baby girls change their dads and you get wrapped around their finger. And that's just completely true. But how I've changed them, I mean, what I hope is showing them that Whatever that you put your mind to, if you go after it, it's possible. I try to take my six-year-old son out to do things that maybe he didn't think he could do, but then try to challenge that doubt to go after it. Like something that just came to mind was we were out at a skate park recently, and he had never been to a skate park. And he's looking at all of these amazing things that people on scooters and skateboards are doing. And he wasn't sure he could do that because they were so good. And I just had to tie it to video games because he loves video games. And I was like, did you do the video game perfectly the first time? Are you perfect at Mario Kart? No, that's exactly what you're seeing here is a video game. What happens when you die on a video game? You try again, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's the same thing with the skate park. These people have just been doing it. They're like on level 13, not on level one. But if you just get on a skateboard and get going. Anyway, long story short. It was cool to see him light up and then he got on a scooter, asked somebody to borrow a scooter and then started doing stuff, you know, (laughs) and just to make the connection how it's just like life or a video game where you just start at level one. You don't need to go to the boss level right away, you know, just start off at level one and you can get moving. So that's what I hope to instill on them and my wife is like just stretching yourself. And again, my wife, Becca, has started to inspire me in some ways, too, because she started to do some physical things like a Spartan race, half marathon and things like that. So, yeah. It's been cool to see. Where are you located? Where are you? Right now, I'm spending a lot of time in Scottsdale, Arizona. All so right. that's right. where Dean Graziosi's office is. So yeah, right here in Scottsdale. Wow. So you're doing all of this. I mean, it's cooling down now, but you're still doing all of these things and it's hot, right? Like it's hot outside. It's humid as well. Oh, that dry weather. I actually missed all the heat. I'm lucky. So we spent some time here at the beginning of the year. So it wasn't hot. We left in June. So right when it's getting hot. We left and then I just came here like less than a month ago. Hmm. So I was out of here during the most hot times, which I'm happy about. All right. All right. Well, you know, it's really fabulous where you give the example of uh, the video games and when you die. And that's something we've been opening up as well. The conversation of death, the possibility that you could die today or tomorrow. How are you interacting with that conversation in the midst of everything that's going on, Calvin? That conversation is something I've been deliberately thinking about more frequently. I'm a big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk, and that's something that he talks about is, like, you're going to die. And not only that, the people you love are going to die. Now, before people think that's a very negative thing to think about, it's just the truth. Then once you realize that, it just brings everything to this moment of, okay, what are you going to do between now and then? 
And I've seen other people, I think it was somebody on Tim Ferriss's podcast that talked about, like, that's what the Stoics did. They realized that they're going to die or even their loved ones are going to die. And then what that does is it just makes you like hug them tighter when you're with them or to spend time with them, with them, not just being distracted on your phone and things like that. So I like to reflect on that. I try to do it every day, honestly. Hmm. It's just a good reminder to be right here in the moment and make a difference while you can. Well, right in this moment, I can say that I can die, right? Because I've gotten the opportunity to have so many amazing conversations and yet another one with you, Calvin. So I do appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing. It's a great opportunity to check in and hear that you have continued on the path that you decided you wanted to follow. It's both motivational and inspirational. So I thank you for that. In closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I can't remember if it's the exact thing I did last time, but it still rings true. And that is join the CIA. You know, I talk about it in Fish Out of Water, but that's how you win. CIA, I don't mean the Secret Service, it's consistent, imperfect action. Yeah. Yeah. You ended, you said done is better than perfect when you ended last time. I still agree with that. Don't <laughs> let perfection hold you back. So just jump in. Whatever yeah. it is you want to do, go after it. Love it. Again, my friend, a great pleasure, a pleasure I treasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This podcast is produced by Pod Edits. Visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing.